Alrighty, steam fans. Uh, today uh, we're going to show the little techniques that uh, seem to work for me for rebuilding this uh, old Warren Webster steam trap. Um, bit of history, we're at the lovely Lane uh, Methodist Church Chapel here in downtown Baltimore. And uh, we've got this uh, old radiator. Uh, it's a, one of the earliest two pipe systems. But, uh, they didn't have traps back in the day. The way they worked was at uh, that end there was the inlet. Outlet was here and it just went down below the water line. Uh, in order to make this work, they had an air vent here. At a certain point in the system's history, um, the air vent was plugged and uh, they installed this trap. Now this particular trap, let's see if I can get a good shot of it there, is a uh, 22 H5. And uh, I've already impacted the uh, top. It's a inch and 3 16 socket. And this is the uh, bellows. And uh, on the bellows, on Warren Webster traps, they usually had a date code. Uh, this one, I, uh, if you can't see it, uh, right there, 1943. And this is the uh, element we're going to be replacing. Usually you have to a pair of channel locks, screws in the top of the cap. The cap is brass. But, uh, and of course the uh, bellows element is brass, but the trap body itself is steel. Now I've already also gone ahead and removed the seat that's at the, was at the bottom there. You see the, um, it's a brass bodied seat with a uh, stainless steel inset, which was uh, quite revolutionary for, for the day. So one inch diameter. And in order to make this thing work, um, in order to be able to get it, you'll need an extension piece and a uh, one inch socket. And I usually grind the edge of the socket to get down in there and fit down in that little groove. And I also grind this flat so there's no um, bevel at all because the seat, as you can see, is uh, uh, fairly narrow. So you need to get down in there and get that out. And once you get that seat out, then uh, it's really a good idea to clean up the threads uh, with a tap. And the tap that I generally, uh, on this size, is a 13 16 by 18 tap. I usually get a bottoming tap. Uh, no, check that, a uh, plug tap. And go in there and clean up the thread. You can see, uh, I don't know, it's a pretty crusty uh, accumulations again because this is an iron body trap. Because um, brass uh, containing copper has been a strategic metal since the Bronze Age, um, gets a little crusty. Now, in order to replace the uh, bellows, I'm going to use in this particular case a tungstel capsule. On the, uh, let's see if I can get a good shot there. Yeah, it's pretty, sorry about the glare. So you get a tungstel capsule. This is their basic model. Uh, this element here replaces the, uh, the bellows. The bellows is it's much smaller, made of stainless steel. It's inside here. In order to make this fit, to replace uh, this threading, they supply a bushing. So the bushing seats down in there, and then you thread the uh, half by 20 standard threads inside the, uh, inside the bushing. So in order to get that down in there, it's a little fiddly, and that's, uh, pretty far down in there. I've uh, 
developed a, uh, a tool. Uh, it's a 7 8 uh, deep socket, uh, 12 point, that um, I've added a spacer, which is basically a piece of three quarter inch copper uh, egged so it fits in there and doesn't drop out. And I had to drill that hole that's usually between the socket, a half inch drive socket, uh, to be able to accept a half inch all thread rod. Now this is fine thread. This is um, half by uh, 20 threads to the inch. And I've got some uh, nuts on the end to be able to hold it. And uh, this drops in through here. Like so. And then uh, that's all thread. Just uh, work that on there. Hard to do this one handed. I've already got this uh, taped and doped. Apologize again for the clumsiness here. Hard to do this one handed. Didn't really practice. Dope all over myself here. There we go. And this seats down in there. Now this is held up in the socket and that can go down in I need to get me a go phone or something this is and now you can use the socket to sort of hand work it in now that this has done its job continue on with the snug it down and now we've got the uh, bushing down in there all ready to receive our capsule and I'm just going to drop it down in there and now use the uh, Tunstall tool. There's their 1 800 number. And uh, start it, get it in finger tight I'm using a 3 quarter inch socket. Fits over there. Work that down in there. Finish it off with our socket. And here's the capsule. Now what I'm going to do next is put some anti-seas on these threads here. And tighten that up. And then this trap is... Uh, <laughs> Ready for the next hundred years.